the 1969 Stonewall Riots. A documentary about the tragic Stonewall Riots that took place at the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich, New York, as a fight for equal rights. The Facts of Stonewall. The Stonewall, the Stonewall movement, movement was a series, was a series of, spontaneous of spontaneous and violent demonstrations by the LGBTQ plus community that began on June 28th in 1969. The riots were centered around the fact that in the 1950s and 60s, members of the community faced an anti-gay legal system. The civil rights movement worked as a catalyst for the riots, among many other events such as the anti-Vietnam War movement, the liberal environment of Greenwich Village, and the counterculture of the 60s. The Stonewall Inn was a mafia-owned gay bar that was popular among drag queens, transgender, effeminate young men, bush lesbians, male prostitutes, and the homeless youth. Police raids on bars similar to the Stonewall Inn were routine, though they eventually lost control of the Stonewall Inn situation. While this may sound like the people who went to these bars were usually associ associated with crime, they were really just trying to get away from the harassment they faced for falling under the LGBTQ plus spectrum. This is a this picture, is a picture from the from documentary, documentary Scream Queens. Queens. The riot at Compton's cafeteria about the LGBTQ plus community who fought police harassment in 1966 in San Francisco's Tenderloin, just three years before the Stonewall riot in 1969. This, this is Martha, is Martha P. Johnson, P. Johnson, a transgender, a transgender woman, woman and strong supporter of the Stonewall in riots, protesting at Bellevue, Bellevue Hospital to speak out against the mistreatment of street people and gays. Judy Garland, Judy Garland and the Stonewall riots. Judy Garland, mainly known for her iconic role in The Wizard of Oz, was a well-known activist and supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. Unfortunately, she passed away from an accidental drug overdose on June 22, 1969. Because the Stonewall riots took place six days later on June 28, 1969, many believe that her death and influence she had on the LGBTQ plus community was the reason for the Stonewall riots. While it may have impacted some of the activists, it was not one of the main reasons they revolted. Where, Where and, and why? In the 1900s, society was extremely against sexual and gender fluidity. Often, cities would have undercover blue laws called safe havens for individuals that identified as part of the LGBTQ community. Even then, people could not escape the harassment and humiliation they received once people realized that they fell under the LGBTQ spectrum. This image, this image shows a group of young LGBTQ plus individuals commemorating Stonewall's 40th anniversary. Marsha, Marsha P. Johnson, Johnson a, transgender a transgender activist, activist was born August 24, 1945, and passed away July 6, 1992. Marsha P. Johnson, Marsha P. Johnson, Marsha P. Johnson, Marsha P. Johnson was a transgender was a drag queen and LGBTQ rights activist, commonly known for being one of the first to take part in the Stonewall riots. She was born on August 24, 1945, as a male, but realized at a young age that she had an interest in dressing and presenting as female and from then on became a drag, drag queen who would assist in providing food and shelter to struggling and homeless LGBTQ youth. Her motivation to ride against the police for the unfair treatment of the LGBTQ community eventually led to the birth of a new era of tolerance to those of different sexualities and genders. While she may have died at the age of 46, her impact has surely lasted a lifetime and will continue to pave new paths for the LGBTQ individuals in the future. Significance. Significance. Although the Stonewall riots created some freedom, freedom and allowed, and allowed, allowed for people to express themselves so freely, the LGBTQ community was still harassed and neglected for their ideas and were thought to be sins. They didn't let this stop them from being who they wanted to be and expressing their true feelings. A short time after the Stonewall riots, the Machetine Society members split off to form a Gay Liberation Front, a group that launched protests, demonstrations, and confrontations with police officers and political figures. On the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, people marched through the streets as a salute to the event. This was considered as the first Pride Parade. The increased activism on the topic of gender and sexual fluidity allowed for publicity and a push for equal rights cross-country. 
Renee Richards, Renee Richards a, transgender a transgender woman, woman allowed by the U.S. Supreme, Supreme Court to play at the United States Open Tennis Tournament as a woman, 1997. Kathy, Kathy Kozenchenko, Kozenchenko, the first, the first American, American to hold a public, public office, office, 1974. The Stonewall, the Stonewall Inn had, had a lot to do with bringing LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus, people plus people their rights. Their rights. It impacted people's minds, for they realized that people are supposed to be treated equally, no matter their sexuality or gender. Today, there is a lot of LGBTQA plus representation, whether in the media or in general society. You see famous actors with same-sex couples and many transgender famous individuals that have impacted society today.